Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new fashion video. I'm just going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. It's been very quiet here on my YouTube channel. If you've been following me for a while, you probably haven't been super curious as to where I am. I'm sure life has gone on for you, but just in case you are wondering now that you're watching this video where I've been, I did share a little bit about what has been going on behind the scenes for me in my personal life um, in my latest vlog. So I'll leave that linked up above if you are curious and want to give it a little watch. Um, but I am very excited to be back with a fashion video and hoping to be a little bit more consistent across all of my channels, whether it's my YouTube or my Instagram or my blog, really hoping to kind of get back to um, how I used to operate very, very easily. So this will not be the last fashion video here on my channel this year. So today I'm going to talk about what is new in my wardrobe for spring. Spring has always been my absolute favorite season. Um, I feel the most myself in dresses with very feminine floral or just pretty ruffle details. So that might be a little bit of what you'll see today, but I also have always been a jeans girl. I just feel so, so comfortable in jeans. So there is a lot to share today. Um, I've got some raffia handbags. I've got some new sandals, dresses, and jeans to share with you guys today. So I hope you will tune in. If you you are new to me just a quick hello hi I'm Haley I've been a style and travel influencer mostly over the last 10 years I started sharing my outfits on Instagram in 2012 when I lived in Denver which is wild and then I launched my blog in 2013 I was really kind of thirsty for something different creatively so started to share a little bit more of myself on Instagram on YouTube in 2019 and then I had been really wanting to move to the UK um, since 2016, 2017. So I ended up getting a UK visa in 2020 and moved across the pond just before the whole world shut down. And my life has changed a lot over the last three years. So I have been really having a hard time finding the ground beneath my feet as I've navigated, um, you know, now living with my partner, John. And then not long after moving in with my partner, after I moved, um, we got pregnant with our son, Louis, who was born in 2021. Um, so to say that I've gone through a lot of change over the last three years would be a very big understatement and it's taken a minute to kind of find the ground beneath my feet but I think we are getting there and I'm really happy to have you here so if you would please do subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell to know when new videos come up on my channel all right, I think that that is all the housekeeping. Oh, one more thing. We live just outside of London in Windsor, which is literally right below the incoming flight path into Heathrow. So you will hear planes overhead in the background. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm really sorry. That is just our life here in Windsor. So without further ado, let's check out what's new in my wardrobe for spring. All right, first up is what I'm wearing and that is this beautiful, colorful Zimmerman dress, midi length, long sleeve, has buttons all along the center and it's tiered and just so flowy and beautiful, you guys. I saw this on, I believe it was Netta Porter's website back in February and I really didn't do a lot of shopping from January through March just because it's so dreary here. I'm wearing leggings and sweats every day. Um, but I did come across this and I was like, you know what? I <laughs> love all of those colors. That dress just gets me so excited for spring. And I just feel like it's a little bit of spring and summer Haley. Like I really do gravitate towards more of these pastel-y colors, this bright lavender, this really pretty pink. I love the rusty tones and the teal thrown in as well. So the overall print and colors within it make me so, so happy. And to be really honest with you, I'm always looking at how I can improve my wardrobe and something that my personal wardrobe needed was dresses with sleeves because here in England, it really doesn't get hot, hot to warrant those, you know, strappy dresses that I have so many of, especially growing up and living in Florida for so long, um, until like July, like late June and July. So in April, May, and most of June, I'm, I'm still a little bit chilly when I go out, even if I wear a dress. So I really, really wanted some more dresses that I could pull from that have sleeves that just feel a little bit more comfortable until we reach those really hot months here in the UK. So I will leave this link down below. I went with my normal size. Um, I also think that it's really cute cinched here at the waist. It did come with a belt, but I have taken it off. I think I wore it cinched 
with a like Loewe belt at one point. So there's a lot of different ways that you could style it. You could wear it without a belt or cinch here at the waist with a belt. And overall, I just think it's a really pretty dress for anyone's dress collection. So I will leave this linked down below. All right, next up we have a couple of white dresses. Now, white dresses are not anything that my wardrobe is short on, however, it's one of those pieces in my wardrobe that I do go to grab very, very often in the spring and summer months. I'm just always going to um, have a weakness for them, so some would argue I don't need any more white dresses. I will always probably continue to add more to this collection. So I have a couple today from me and M. I recently placed an order on their website because they have so many beautiful dresses on their website right now. I wore this one, which is another white dress in Albura Bello when we were in Puglia. It was not the best day to wear this dress, although it was so, so comfortable and arguably a phenomenal dress to wear on any travel day where you're exploring a new place and you want something really chic and lightweight to wear. So that is a white dress that I recently purchased from M&M and that I love that just won't be in this particular roundup because it is in the wash. But this one in particular is really, really pretty. It is a midi length embroidery anglaise dress with this really pretty ruffle sleeve detail along with this little ruffle neck hemline right here. Um, there is a V neck here and a little button closure. If you do so choose to wear it in this way, you can. Um, I could also put on a really pretty necklace to wear right here since I do prefer to have this open. It comes with a removable dress lining to wear underneath and then it just has some really pretty tiered detailing along the entire silhouette. So I just think that this dress is so beautiful and so classic, feminine, and perfect for just any spring or summer occasion where you're going to be outside um, with friends, at a dinner, a family get together, um, something along those lines and you wanna just kind of feel and look put together. It's also great for hosting. Um, I might wear this this weekend for our little coronation get together. So yeah, this one is linked down below and if you're curious about sizing, it runs true to size. I'll put all sizing details down in the description box just in case I do forget to mention it here in the video. All right, this is the last white dress from the Me and M Roundup. Um, we have one more Me and M dress that I want to show you guys, but it is very um, not white. <laughs> so uh, this one is a more halter style dress, midi to maxi length, it depends on your height. I am 5'3 for reference, has a really pretty ruffle detail here around the neckline and the armholes. Um, it is double lined. It looks a bit thinner material wise than the broderie anglaise, but you should still be completely covered with the double lining. It does have these really cute embroidered dots throughout. I thought it was maybe Swiss dot at first, but I don't think this is technically Swiss dot material. Like I was saying, really cute little bow detail here that you can cinch in at the center. And then there are some really cute little ruffle details um, that line each tier as it goes down. This um, has a little bit more of a frilly feel um, in terms of style and silhouette. It's a little bit more lightweight and loose. Um, that will definitely like move in the wind and things like that. So definitely great for those really, really warm summer or spring days, depending on where you live and how hot spring is for you guys. So this one also, I would say runs true to size. And I also, before I move on to the next dress, want to point out my shoes because they are also new in my wardrobe. They are by Sam Edelman. Actually, I don't know how good my try on clips are going to be of my shoes because it's hard for me to see in the um, camera lens like how much you can see my shoe when I'm kind of far away from the camera. So let me just show you these a little bit more up close. This is the top of the shoe close to your toe. I love how it goes straight across and then it kind of slants around kind of around the inside corner of your foot. I just think it's a really, really flattering um, silhouette. And then I have always loved an ankle strap moment. So these are an ankle strap. They are so cute and I love these little block heels making them so much more comfortable. They're a little bit um, funky in how they're shaped as well, which I really like. And then I love this raffia detail here just to kind of, 
I don't know, make them even more appropriate for spring and summer. So festive, so cute. So um, these run true to size and I will link them down below. All right, and this is my last dress from the Me and M order. I cannot underline how much I loved a lot of their dresses and their new arrivals. I had to really hold myself back. Um, and I was actually hoping to not like as many as I did because yeah, they um, are a little bit pricey, but I think when you see how well they're made, you'll kind of understand they're all really high quality uh, materials that they use and they're just beautifully crafted. So this again is a sleeved, long sleeved midi slash maxi length dress with beautiful button detailing along the center. Love the white piping that you have here as well as a detail ruffle here along the sleeves with some elastic as well to kind of make them easy to um, kind of pull up and stay up. Um, this is just a really great dress for hosting or going out to dinner with friends. Like I was saying, going out for a nice picnic when it's not really, really hot, still a little bit cool. And I just love the little very feminine bow detail here along the middle. Also has pockets, which is always a win for me. This one runs true to size and I just cannot love it anymore. I feel like I've been incorporating more uh, green into my wardrobe weirdly lately. Um, I just feel like I see a ton of green options <laughs> out right now. So I'm like, oh, that one's cute. Oh, I like that one as well. You might remember I wore this dress when we were in Italy. Really, really cute dress. Has some really beautiful cinching along the um, like chest area. Very, very cute little um, kind of like heart shaped here along the chest. And then just really, really cute ruffle um, spaghetti straps here. So clearly having a bit of a green moment. So if you are as well, all three of these are linked down below. Okay, I thought I would break up the dresses with a denim option for those of you who like me love a nice comfortable pair of jeans. These are from H&M. I don't think I've ever had like super good luck with H&M denim to be honest. And um, I was a little bit on the fence about these because they are quite long on me, but I just rolled them up one more time and I'm thinking I might cut some of the length off so they're not double rolled. But overall, the high-waisted um, kind of mom jean silhouette really is one of my favorite because they're just comfortable, everyday, easy to wear. Um, you can wear it with almost anything. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. I have always been a huge advocate for dressing up denim. It's something that I've used on my blog so many times over the years, especially back in like 2015, 2016. I was always wearing heels with like baggier denim or skinny jeans. It was just something that I felt like for me, I just loved. I just loved dressing up denim. That was just one of the things that I felt the most comfortable in. And I still do, although I don't wear heels quite as often as I used to, especially in my everyday life. <laughs> um, but anyways, I really love this pair, super affordable. Yeah, these run true to size. I got my normal size and they fit great. So um, definitely go with that. And yeah, these are my recent denim pick that are definitely on the more affordable end um, for anyone who's looking for some new denim. Okay, I have another pair of jeans to share with you guys. Um, I definitely could have used some self tanner before this haul, but it will. <laughs> um, just this, this beige color just really is, is a little bit not flattering on me right now, but anyways, okay. I thought I would quickly share some of the recent handbag additions to my wardrobe. I actually haven't fully committed to this one. I still have the price tag on it. I did bring this one to Italy and I wore it a ton. I love the bucket shape. I love the bamboo handle because it matches so many of my shoes. Like for example, the shoes that I shared earlier, the Sam Edelman um, sandals. They're the same brown color. I have a pair of brown Valentino rock stud sandals that I wear quite a bit in the spring and summer that also matches this. I love matching my purse with my shoes. So I wouldn't say I have a ton of raffia shoes, nor do I feel like I'd wear those a ton. I just prefer like solid colors um, that are like light or brown. So I just feel like this handle really ties in my very summery straw bag with my footwear. So I really, really love this one. 
And then I have this one. I also got this one during the shop up sale. Um, it is a really cute option. I think for the price though, it's really nothing special. And I would say that it's not the most like organic way of opening. The way that this closure is set up, it doesn't make it super easy to open. The button sits flat in between here. It almost, so it's kind of, hard to open it almost should be the opposite like this should be here so that this could just connect and close and that way you could easily open it you know what I mean so this is really cute um, it does have a couple of little inside pockets that you could store stuff in as well but I do think that I will be personally returning it because I don't need that many <laughs> raffia straw totes I do have the Loewe um, straw tote that I invested in last summer and I also uh, made another raffia handbag investment as well so this one will be going back but if you're looking for an option and like this one it's linked down below the last new addition to my wardrobe in the handbag department is a designer item and that is this gorgeous number so I immediately had all the heart eyes and drooled over this as even an option. I do want to share one small critique though, and this is something that I noticed yesterday when I was traveling back from Italy. I had a backpack on, I had this across my shoulder, and I had Louis wanting me to hold him. So I had quite a bit like on me that was also pulling on this bag, which meant that the chain was digging into my shoulder here and also my collarbone. So just keep in mind that this can be an uncomfortable bag if you overfill your bags often. So just keep that in mind, um, being that this has a chain strap. Um, it's also not adjustable, so the length is what it is. Um, but overall, I'm really, really happy with this and I'm really excited to style this with my spring and summer outfits. All right, let's circle back to the jeans. Um, I've got another pair of jeans to share. This one is a pair of high-waisted blue jeans. I feel like they're a very classic blue wash. And I also feel like this particular silhouette is uh, very reminiscent of like the 90s, like 90s boot cut. Uh, it almost looks like this pair of jeans would be seen on a character in like 90210 or Party of Five back in the day. Um, please tell me that there are people watching that remember those shows. Please make me feel like I'm not super old. <laughs> um, anyways, I, I don't know if this particular silhouette is, is well suited on my particular body type and my particular height. I'm quite short, so I feel like when jeans like this pair hit right at the top of my foot, they just make me look shorter than I am or they accentuate my very short frame. So I always just kind of feel like jeans for those of us who are petite and are short um, are better suited for jeans that have a um, higher inseam and it hit us around the ankle because then you can wear um, sandals or heels and it not do that. So I hope that makes sense. You might remember in last week's vlog, I shared a pair of jeans that were also quite long on me. Um, they were more of a wide leg silhouette um, and very high-waisted and very um, form-fitting towards the top. Um, those I actually think do work um, at that length for those of us who are short. I, I, I'm not a certified stylist, so it's hard for me to kind of articulate as to why, um, but I do think that that particular pair you could pull off um, if you are short like myself. Um, I wore them with sandals and I think it looked quite nice, um, although I do intend um, to get those shortened just a little bit because I do think that it does look better when um, jeans hit me at the ankle. So. That is my little spiel about <laughs> petiteness and being short and where jeans should uh, sit. But um, this pair is really cute, like I said, and if they suit your style, they are linked down below. All right, next up is a pair of paper bag shorts. You know, I thought the paper bag shorts eventually would go out of style. I've been wearing them since like 2015, 2016. 
but year after year they come out with new options in the new arrival section on some of my favorite retailers websites and this year was no exception this pair is from and other stories i love how soft and almost satiny the material is they have these really cute slant pockets that really elevate the silhouette um, little um, pin pleats as well and I love that the um, that there's a little cuff along the um, bottom edge um, and then yeah the little belt detail is super super cute overall this is a really um, nice elevated chic pair that you can dress up or down and I think they're also a really really good price point uh, I actually went up one size um, I would probably go with my normal size first I just think that um, I'm in between sizes right now, so I went with, um, I ordered two sizes and ended up going with the one that was a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, overall, true to size and highly recommend. All right, it is dresses from here on out. I hope you're okay with that, but that is just what I tend to gravitate towards. So um, this one is actually one of my favorites that I have to share with you in this What's New in My Wardrobe video. It is by a brand called Banjen N. I hope I'm saying that right, probably not, but it is a new to me brand that I saw on ShopUp and I couldn't help but take advantage of the ShopUp sale by grabbing this really beautiful maxi dress with a floral print. The floral print has this beautiful like like fuchsia, but without being like too bright and bold, it's more of like a purpley color, lavender, um, and then some greens and yellow. I just thought that the colors incorporated into the floral print were so beautiful, and the tiered detailing throughout the rest of the entire silhouette is really uniquely done. Um, and then I also love that it has pockets. It is a little bit big on me, I'm not gonna lie. I need the sleeves to be taken up just a little bit, and I could use it taken in slightly here. I wouldn't say it's overly obvious, but um, I can't remember what size I got, but I would definitely say it runs just a little bit big. I'll put more details in the description box down below with regard to sizing. All right, next up is this really pretty bright blue tiered midi length dress from Abercrombie. Um, if you follow me for a long time, you know I'm a huge fan of Abercrombie. I typically buy a few things from their new arrival section each season. Um, I love Abercrombie because they have definitely become a lot more inclusive um, of people overall, but also with regard to sizing. They have so many different size options, and I also really like that they have so many different style options as well. Um, if you are somebody who is super trend focused with your style um, and like to try out different trends, Abercrombie is a really great retailer to take a look at. That's not necessarily me. I feel like I I typically stick with the same silhouettes and things that I know I feel the best in and suit me. Um, so I really like that they still have some of those like very classic feminine silhouettes to choose from as well. Um, so this is one of those that I just thought was so cute. Has a few details that I just thought were really interesting like the ruching here along the bust line. And then you know I'm not um, somebody who has never seen a ruffle before, but I do feel like these ruffles are very different than in some of my other dresses, so I thought this was a really pretty way of incorporating ruffles into this strap. And then I love the little bow back detail. I didn't do the best job tying this, but that's okay. Also has pockets, and then with the um, sizing, I would say just go with your normal size and then pick um, whatever um, suits you from a height perspective. Like if you're 5'4 and under, go with petite. If you're 5'9 um, and up, I would go with tall. Um, so yeah, I love that about Abercrombie. There are a lot of different sizing options so that you can get um, the best out of what you're buying from them. So this is linked down below with everything else. All right, next up is this amazing floral dress by a brand called Cleo Bella. It wasn't a dress that I was confident was going to suit me or that was going to work. I was a little bit not sure about the floral print. I was like, it might be or feel too retro for me, but I wanted to see it in person. And it does need to be taken up just a little bit here at my shoulders so that it fits just a little bit better up here at the top. But overall, I think that this dress is 
so so cute and really really flattering it has this really pretty um, smocked detail here along um, the chest area with this really just interesting ruffle um, border along the chest and up into the shoulder area and underneath the ruffle is more smocking so you're f you feel really supported up here um, it's not just the ruffle as like the the um that's holding the dress up basically but yeah it is a midi length dress with some tear detailing shocking it also has pockets and yeah i love the colors within the floral fabric and it's just really lightweight flowy and a perfect dress for any spring and summer occasion i think this would be so cute for a baby shower or a bridal shower would really work very very well i went with my normal size so i would say it runs true to size i'm just quite short so a lot of times i do have to get um alterations in the sleeve area so that is my only little critique all right with this dress you'll see me wearing these really fun wedges which is another new addition to my wardrobe this spring these are also by sam edelman to be really honest with you i unpacked them and i was like <laughs> Haley, in this season of life, when are you really going to wear these? Um, if you are a longtime follower of mine, you might remember when I wore wedges like this back in the day all the time. Um, think back to like 2016, 2017, like where I had blog, like where I had outfit blog posts like every single day on my blog. Um, I love these. I just think they're so, so fun. They're kind of reminiscent of um, Chloe wedges. You know, they're quite platformy. Um, and so, anyway, I just couldn't resist these. I don't know how often I will wear these. Um, so, these might have been a really stupid purchase, but we will see. Um, I love this kind of straw, like raffia detail. And I love that it's more of a brown than a straw. I bought a pair of raffia wedges last year. I think they were by Dolce Vita. Or were they Sam Edelman? I can't remember. And I brought them to the Bahamas and I wore them one night and I remember looking at um, the photos back and I was like, those look very yellowy. Um, so I, I tend to not really like raffia shoes for that reason. I really like something that's more of a beige or a brown. So I really, really love these. They run true to size, so yeah. If you are a wedge girl like me, these are going to definitely tempt you. <laughs> All right, we are almost done with what's new in my wardrobe for spring. I thought I would save one of my favorites for second to last. <laughs> this one is by a designer called Ola Johnson. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, so if I mispronounced it and you know the correct pronunciation, please do leave it in a comment below. I would love to commit it to memory for future. Uh, she's a designer that I've seen over the years on Netta Porter, I believe on Nordstrom, and um, there was one dress in particular that she designed a couple of years ago. It was pink and quite loose fitting and kind of boho-esque. I just thought it was absolutely stunning, and so I, I splurged and I bought it, and. I put it on and I was like, this just is way too big on me. It really overwhelmed my frame and it just, it wasn't for me. And I just thought, okay, well, even though I love her dress designs, like maybe, you know, her designs aren't just, are just never going to suit me. Um, so I saw this dress and I was like, wow, that is such a beautiful green shade. And I love a bordery on glace moment. So I was like, you know what? Let me just see. Let me just see if this fits. And so I bought it and you guys, it fits so good, like a glove. And so I am obsessed with this number. It is a really classic um, midi length dress with some really beautiful details. I love how, um, you know, there is a bit of a border in between the bordery anglaise around the bust line. I love the, I always love a tie strap, always. And I love that this is a true midi dress um, with some really pretty scallop detail along um, the edge at the bottom. It also has pockets, so that is a another detail that I love as well. Um, definitely a higher price point for this dress, um, but it would make a really beautiful uh, dress for special occasions. So I will leave it linked down below and I would go with your normal size. 
All right, this is the last item that I have to share with you guys in my what's new in my wardrobe for spring video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, please do let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. This one, to round everything out, is by a brand called N. Saison. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I don't think I am. Um, I am far from an expert at French. Um, but I got it on Shopbob's website during their sale. I just thought it was so cute. I love the floral pattern. I love blue, and as I mentioned, earlier I'm having a bit of a green moment um, so I love that this incorporated both I love these big frill details here on the sleeves and you know I love a ruffle neckline and overall tier detailing is something that makes me swoon embroidery on glace is also incorporated into this dress so so many of my favorite things as well as pockets so yeah overall it is a winner for me so much so that I thought I would wear it to round this video out I want to say thank you so so much for joining me today and watching this video it means so much to me if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up just a quick little disclaimer whether you're in the US or the UK you should easily be able to shop most of what you have seen in today's video um, the only thing that I can think of that might be um, hard for are the items that I featured from Shopbop. Shopbop unfortunately does charge quite a bit to ship everything over here um, as well as the important duty fees. Um, so I know it's a pain um, but overall you have so much of what I shared. You have H&M, Abercrombie, Me and m Netta Porter. So everything is linked down below in the description box. Again thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to know when new videos go live. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.